thought I was immune, but I'm not. I thought I was immune to all these free offers for plugins and virtual instruments and sample packs, but I'm just like everybody else. I caved to the pressure of free something. It all started during the pandemic when I undertook to refresh my studio and I bought some new gear, a MIDI controller, a new audio interface, and included with those purchases was free software. I downloaded the software to try it out. And of course, those vendors started hitting me up with all kinds of offers to upgrade or try other software. In this video, I'm going to talk about free virtual instruments, plugins, and sample packs. And I'm going to try and add some perspective on whether they're worth it or not. At the same time, I realize if you're tuning into this video, you're expecting to see a long list. And I have that list. So if that's why you came here, go directly to the description and you'll find a list of more than 100 virtual instruments, plugins, and sample packs that you can download for free. I'm not going to go through all 60 plus virtual instruments and plugins to give you a sample, but for beginners, I do want to give you a head start here. First thing you're going to need is a digital audio workstation. If you're on Mac OS or an iPad or an iPhone, use GarageBand. It's free, it's underrated, it's very powerful, and it includes a couple instruments that are high-end just like um, from Logic. If you're into looping, Ableton Live 11 is a good choice. Um, it is free, this version is free, but it has some limitations. I think it'll only allow 16 tracks. Uh, you can also consider MPC Beats from Akai Music. Uh, there's Pro Tools First and Studio One from uh, Personas. All of these are free, but they have some limitations, either the number of tracks or the number of instruments that are included. If you're looking for something that's full featured and completely free, uh, consider Cakewalk by BandLab. Uh, FL Studio and Logic Pro bo both offer a free trial. It's a 90 day trial. You can download their software and give it a shot. Once you've got your digital audio workstation up and running, you're gonna wanna add some virtual instruments. Native Instruments has perhaps one of the best free offers. It's something called Complete Start. Um, it looks like this. You can go to their website and find it. It includes over 2,000 studio quality sounds. And um, you'll see it includes seven synths that are very popular and uh, nine sampled instruments and uh, a couple plugins and some expansions. What they've done here is they sort of squished down um, what you get. Um, you get all the basic stuff that you would get in Complete 13, which costs a lot of money, but there's only a few presets for each one, so it's kind of like a trial pack, but it's enough to get going. It's, uh, it's definitely a great value. One of the other instruments I use all the time is Dext by Digital Suburban. It's a DX7 virtual instrument, a Yamaha DX7. If you're doing anything with 80s and 90s sounds, this has tons of presets, tons of sounds to use. It's very good. Another thing to consider is Spitfire Audio Labs. It Again, it's a free tool to download. It comes with some libraries, but if you want to expand those libraries, you have to buy them, just like native instruments. Other thing you're gonna want is an analog synth. Vital is one of the best out there. Uh, if you're doing any kind of EDM or electronic music, uh, this is a must. It comes with tons of presets. It's easy to use. If you're doing any acoustic work, one of the things you might want to do is um, uh, guitar sounds. And one of the best uh, I've found is Ample Guitar Lite. It's free from KVR Audio. And it has over 100 strumming patterns. It's uh, highly capable. Um, and if you're going to get that for its uh, acoustic capabilities, you may want to also pick up the Ample Bass P Lite, which is also free. Free giveaways is an old marketing trick, but it has kind of a new twist. When you're offered free software, you might not realize what you're giving up. But essentially, you're giving up some time and some privacy to share your personal contact information with a vendor who wants to test the market to see whether musicians and producers are interested in their new app. Could you get everything you need for free to do music production? Yeah, you can, but it requires a big investment in time. You'll not only become an expert with different software packages and apps, 
but you'll also become an expert on how to register with their websites and download and configure different variations on that software. To get free stuff, you usually have to register on a vendor's website. Then you'll get an email to confirm you're a real person and a link to the free whatever. You'll get a stream of emails, notifications, and banner ads for quite a while. It'll take more of your time to unsubscribe. Your contact info might be sold repeatedly to other interested marketing campaigns. The price companies pay to acquire information about you offsets the free giveaway. Perhaps you got $30 worth of software as a VST or a plugin, but you generate $100 worth of market intelligence that was packaged, sold, and resold. That's how it works. Imagine company board members having a meeting on a marketing strategy for new music software. One executive says, yeah, yeah, just give away the software for free. We've already paid for the software development. Those are sunk costs. Now, how do we get it into the hands of potential customers? Hey, Todd, what will it cost to market this? Well, Jimbo, nothing. That's the beauty of YouTube and social networking. Creators will promote our software because it's free, and they want to attract viewers and subscribers to their channel. What? Why would YouTube creators do that, Todd? Well, there's the potential to earn revenue for them if they get more than a thousand subscribers and millions of views. Potential. How many will ever see a dime? Well, that's not our problem. Hey, Todd, are you telling me people at home will use cameras, video, and music for a free video review of our new software? And they'll do all of that work for free? Yes. We'll harness their potential. Wow. Selling potential. Now that's a real scam. Will YouTubers do the marketing for us? Absolutely. If topics like this interest you, please subscribe to my channel. Hit the notification bell and you'll find out when I release new videos.